Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Well, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna do some machining today. It's uh, pretty early, I just got the kids on the bus and I have a cold today, so gonna be a short video, but I gotta get these exhaust manifolds uh, fixed before I have to go over and work on the oil rig again tomorrow. Their uh, mechanic there did some work on these and uh, yeah, less than stellar, we'll call it that. Um, basically what he did is the uh, exhaust manifold gaskets have been bad for a very long time on that cat engine. Uh, it's a 3408 uh, big 18 liter turbo diesel. Anyway, the exhaust manifold gaskets have been bad for a very long time. Uh, and it has worn the exhaust manifolds to where there's a big dip in the surface there. They got the bright idea they were just going to weld those up and grind them flat. Still leaks pretty bad. They didn't, you know, I suppose you probably could do that with, and have it work, but um, they did it. It didn't turn out well, and so now I gotta fix it. So I brought them back over here, and we're gonna chunk them up in the mill here and see how that goes. I'm just gonna try uh, running with an end mill and seeing how fast that goes, or I may switch to a fly cutter. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna see which out works or see what works best here. All right, so I gave up on the end mill idea here. Um, it was going great until I got to over here where that guy welded this. And I don't know what rod he used to weld this with, but yeah, it is hard and it just killed the last of my end mills. That So I'm just going super slow. I'm only taking off maybe about three or four thousandths here. Just trying to flatten this guy out here with the um, fly cutter. Well, these guys turned out pretty well here. I'm really pleased with the way they turned out. Decent finish on the surface here. Most importantly, they're both this and this side are parallel and flat to one another. And then there's enough flex in this joint here in the middle where I'm not too worried about it. This one uh, is where somebody else dicked with it, and you can see the difference in the metal there. This is cast. This, I'm assuming, is like nickel or some kind of really damn hard rod that does not cut very easily. Uh, this one turned out. This one turned out good. This is the only piece here that I'm not super thrilled with, but I don't know what else to do. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I was just using a fly cutter here, and it looks like it finally chipped. Uh, the carbide insert that's in there, which kind of sucks. Let's see if I can let you see that. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm Darlington Farm. I'm gonna go take it easy and try and recover from this cold before I have to go work on install those tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Please have a good weekend, and don't forget to click that subscribe button.